Hello guys and welcome to Squidgy Face Plays. Today's video is all about spawners. Now, I've made a couple of little commands that make spawners just a little bit better in your Minecraft survival world. Now, if we go down here into the, our little spawner area, we've got a spider spawner. Now, the problem is with spider spawners is that not everyone likes spider spawners or, I don't know, said like a zombie spawner. Not everyone wants a zombie spawner. So... The way this command works is, is if you throw a diamond pickaxe on top of a spawner like that, it will not only break the spawner, but it also give you the spawner back. But that then gives us another problem. It no longer works because you need eggs to activate the 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 you know the spawners. So what I've done is, if you move out the way, spider, thank you. Is I've changed it so that instead of eggs, it is items. So if I drop the rotten flesh onto it, hopefully. It should start spawning spiders, uh, not spiders, um, what's that called, zombie. And the same with the, the bone, if I drop a bone on top, what that hopefully should start spawning skeletons in a hazmat suit because it's my texture pack. And then also, if it works, the chicken, I don't know if the chicken will spawn down here because it's it's pretty dark down here. Okay, maybe not. Okay, let's, okay, let's delete this spawner. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. We'll chuck a chicken spawner right on top of the light so it's got plenty of light and we'll chuck the chicken on top and hopefully chickens will spawn spawn oh oh damn it <laughs> okay so you get the idea <laughs> i don't know why the chicken didn't spawn then let me just uh try it one more time throw it on top why are you not spawning is it because it's not daytime is that the problem i don't know why that's not working I've said it today, it's really bright. Come on, chicken, spawn. Okay, I don't know what the problem is with the chickens, but you get the idea. Like, it makes the spawn eggs a lot better. So if we go through into the command room, I can show you all the custom commands. Now, the problem is with what I found is you can't place a monster spawner that has already got something inside it. So you can't just say summon a... I don't know, a zombie spawner, it just doesn't work. So I've had to get around it by cloning. Okay? So I'm going to go through all the commands. Obviously, all these will be in the description below. Don't worry about that. So I'm going to go through the initial command of dropping the pickaxe and getting the spawner. So your first one is execute at P, tilde, 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 execute at E, type equals item, name equals diamond pickaxe, radius equals 5. You can change that to a smaller radius if you want. Tilde, 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 test for block, tilde, tilde, minus one, tilde, mob, underscore, spawner. That's basically testing if that there is a mob spawner under the diamond pickaxe. If there is, it will move on to the second command, which is execute at P, tilde, 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 execute at E, type equals item, name equals diamond pickaxe, R equals five, tilde, 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 set block, tilde, tilde, minus one, tilde, air, equal, air, air zero, destroy. Now, I don't think you need the destroy bit, but it would make it look better because it actually makes the bl like break block sound. You don't need the destroy purely because it doesn't actually drop it, but I did it so it sounds like it's breaking anyway. Um, then we've got a comparator, and then a repeater, repeater run. I think that's two ticks or one tick, whatever it is. Then we've got a dropper with your mob spawners inside. Now, I've got a little cloning thing. Ignore that. Do not worry about that. So I've got a little cloning system here so it clones this chest into this one so it's infinite that's the only reason i've done that that goes into another repeater which is uh on two ticks or three ticks don't know what you'd call that i think that's three ticks as i'm not sure just the th third position second position whatever it is then you are just tp at e type equals item name equals monster spawner at e type equals item name equals diamond pickaxe that's basically teleporting the monster spawner to your diamond pickaxe it's quite simple now, I'm not going to show you every single one of these because they're all the same, just different names in them for different things. So obviously, first thing you want to do is you need to set, to set up your spawner with whatever you want in it. This one's a zombie spawner. I don't know why it's not showing the zombie and things in it at the moment. I feel like it's because it's glitched out because my texture pack, I don't know, it might just be a bug. I'm not sure. So we're going to start with the bottom two commands, which is... Execute at P, tilde, 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 execute at E, type equals item, name equals rotten flesh, or equals five, tilde, 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 test for block, tilde, tilde, minus one, tilde, mob spawner. So that basically is testing to see if there is a mob spawner 
underneath the rotten flesh. So obviously we've just chucked the rotten flesh on top of the mob spawner. And then we're going to execute at P, tilde, 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 execute at E, type equals item, name equals rotten flesh, R equals 5, tilde, 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 clone, and then wherever your mob spawner itself is that you're cloning, and then tilde, tilde, minus 1, tilde, so that's basically cloning your mob spawner underneath the rotten flesh to give it the effect of that it is transforming, if that makes sense. You can make it fancier. Now, I don't know what's wrong with this because I tried to get it as a con one continuous line of commands that would eventually kill it, but I couldn't get the kill command to work um, in that, like, you know, in the chain. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what needs to change. I haven't got a clue. So I just added the second line, which is. The first, this command block is exactly the same as the one before, so it's execute at P, execute name, rotten flesh, or equals, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then we've got execute at P, tilde, 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 kill, at E, type equals rotten flesh, R equals 5, and that's just killing the rotten flesh. Oh, wait, with that one, you've got to make sure you add the delaying ticks, add that to 1, so that basically works 1 tick straight after the t uh, clone, so it'll clone, then immediately kill. It has to be like that, otherwise it just won't work. Because then you need to use repeaters, things like that, and I didn't want to do that. To make a smaller footprint, I did it this way. And that is it. That's killing a lot of chickens. <laughs> oh, God. The command's going all wrong. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it from me, guys. If you want to see my last video, don't forget to click the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you all again in the next video. Bye.